Spending time outdoors is a common activity on spring breaks and summer vacations, and sunscreens are an important component of summer safety to protect against the sun's rays. According to the American Academy of Dermatology, sunscreen is an important tool in the fight against skin cancer, including melanoma, the most deadliest form of skin cancer. In fact, one in five Americans will develop skin cancer over their lifetime. While everyone is at risk of sunburns, children especially need to be protected from the sun's burning rays because according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, most sun damage occurs in childhood. With claims like baby safe, broad spectrum, and varying levels of SPF, Clean Label Project wanted to identify what was truly inside the staple of summer safety. Hi, I'm Jackie Bowen, the Executive Director of the Clean Label Project. We wanted to see what was truly in America's best-selling sunscreens. So we pulled the list from Amazon.com and tested America's best-selling adult sunscreens as well as those marketed to caregivers of infants and children. The results were surprising. Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Count, Director of Operations and Quality at Ellipse Analytics, the third-party lab that does the testing for Clean Label Project's category launches. When it comes to sunscreen, it's important to remember that it's not just exposure to your skin with contaminants that can be a cause for concern. It can also be inhalation, breathing things in, or even accidentally ingesting something by putting it in your mouth. And let's be frank, when's the last time you saw a baby that didn't put their hand or their foot in their mouth? When we take a look at the data, we find that there's really no difference between products that are marketed as baby safe versus products intended for more general audiences or for adults, especially when it comes to the contaminants of concern that we measured. We find a significant quality gradient when we look at these products as a whole. Some, for example, would exceed a safety regulation for heavy metals set forward by the state of California if you were to accidentally eat as much as would fit on the surface of a dime. Oxybenzone and oxanoxate are present in 50% of best-selling sunscreen. While effective acute ingredients at preventing sun exposure, both of these chemicals are known endocrine disruptors, which means that they can interfere with the function of your body's hormone system, as well as have ties and links to damage to the environment, including coral reefs. Antioxidants fight the damaging effects of the sun's rays on your skin, and we saw that there was a pretty significant gradient in terms of which products were good antioxidants and which ones were not. At the end of the day, the onus is on brands to know what's in their products, both the good, the bad, as well as the efficacy. Consumers are counting on you. Consumers use the Clean Label Project website as a tool for summer safety, and of course, work with your dermatologist or your family practitioner to choose a sunscreen that's the best fit for you and your family. Help the Clean Label Project change the consumer product safety status quo. 